in my opinion, there are too many people on this planet. There's a zero-sum game on the number of resources out there to support large animals, and we're a large animal. It wasn't even in the human conception that you could cause something to go extinct. It's relatively recently that we've even become aware that we can do that. I don't think the sixth extinction started in my lifetime. I think it started earlier. And my, own, my own view is that it was started at the end of the Pleistocene, 10,000 years ago or so, that it was boosted by the Industrial Revolution and then exacerbated by what's happened in the 20th century. And there's nothing happened in the 21st century that gives me any cause for optimism at all. The 21st century so far has been a dead loss. On Earth, there's a fixed amount of ecological energy, sunlight coming down, turning plants to food. Either we get it or another species gets it. 10,000 years ago, approximately half of the species over 100 pounds body weight went extinct. That extinction took place exactly at the time when we had exponentially increasing numbers of people and a natural global warming event. You put those two together and it seemed to be the recipe for a disaster. These hardy animals that survived, we're going to work on those now. <laughs> In about 1990, it was recognized that there was a global decline in amphibians. We estimate that 40% of them were either extinct or at great risk of extinction. When I went back to places where at one time the salamanders had been just extraordinarily abundant, and I could find none at all, or maybe one or two, and I couldn't, what's happening? We're showing in our work that if you put animals under temperature stress and under the stress of desiccation or pond drying, and expose them to pesticides are really susceptible to disease pathogens. Where there's agriculture nearby and those pesticides will get taken up in certain weather patterns, will then drop them into otherwise pristine areas. When you get these mountains in tropical regions, often they have very layered distributions of species. Many species, each with a very narrow distribution. As warming progresses, these zones are compressed more and more and more, and the top ones are just sort of pushed off into space, and the species have nowhere to go. A lot of the species we're trying to keep alive on Earth are in relatively small, restricted, isolated plots of land we call nature reserves. When you change the climate within those nature reserves, those species have nowhere to run to uh, and nowhere to survive unless we actively move them around and help them to do that. Without our intervention in the face of climate change, we're looking at a major acceleration of extinction. We're projected to go to about 9 billion by the year 2050. By the year 2100, we could shoot up to around 15 billion. 15 billion number is actually very scary as far as other species are concerned. Resources for other species decline fairly gradually, I mean steadily, but gradually. You hit 15 billion and it crashes. There will, there will be these collapses. We're beginning to see them already. The disaster of, that, that we call Haiti is just a natural disaster. They have almost no forest left. Their waters are polluted. Their land is depleted. It was once the richest colony in the New World. I don't see that we should be complacent. We may be just our 100, 150 years behind them. I don't know of any case of where an amphibian decline was noticed and we moved in and did something and stopped it. I don't know that that has, ha has happened for amphibians. People ask me, are they canaries in the coal mine? And I don't actually think that's too good because, uh, you know, when the miner's canary died, the miner left. And where are you going to go? I don't so think we, it's, it's not really apt because we don't have any plan. We have a responsibility to do something about it. <laughs> uh, you can't fix a problem if you don't know a problem is there. Now we know the problem is there. Um, so I think it's time to start thinking about how do we fix it. <laughs>